trip off a bitch if I had a high, but took a pic with what it do y'all it's k and if you didn't know then oh wait a minute let me rewind it what it do y'all it's k and it's bae and if you didn't know then it's stop playing we just got on flight number one Woo. and when i said flight number one i mean i gotta take three flights four flights today or is it three girl wait i gotta take three flights today y'all i i really want to explain why but y'all know i stutter so bad i think i should just take y'all through the process with me and as y'all go through the process y'all see why i'm flying well, maybe I won't study if I try to explain it. Okay, so y'all, y'all know I had winning. Um, I got. Uh, see, that's why I don't try to explain shit. It's a, I don't even know how to start. All I know is I got to fly to Houston. It's eight o'clock right now. No, it's like nine o'clock. I got to fly to Houston. Shit, y'all. See, that's why I don't try to explain stuff. It's, I mean, not a library, a cafeteria. It do sound like a lunchroom in this bitch. The first thing I had to do, I woke up, packed out my bags, me and her. We got. We had to fly to Cali because. We want to go on vacation, come out here, enjoy the ambiance, enjoy the the weather for sure because it's getting colder in Atlanta. We came to review a lot of places. I don't know, you, you don't never be specific. You could have said it out loud. <laughs> With his leg up. I'm confused, I want to know. We can go back to it. What you was talking about? He was digging his ass somewhere, lady. All the in the crutch one with the jeans. Oh, that's cute. Them look like you got to go up in your ass for the, to get them out. <laughs> but she then distracted me talking about somebody digging in and they do so? and she and she watched. <laughs> But then again, trying to get some jeans out your booty is really rough. Okay, like I was saying, y'all, me and her, we had a trip planned to Cali just to come to LA and just vibe out. But last week I had found this dude that wanted to do my night. Hey, how you doing? We good. She's you, you, you gonna be in the vlog. <laughs> Thank you for watching my videos though. Okay. So what we're gonna do today is this is why I got this is why I gotta fly so many times. So I got my teeth um redid. I'm not gonna say redid because I still got the old ones, but I wanna do a comparing and contrast because to be honest, y'all, my last goals, um, they gave SpongeBob to me. Even though like I really love my supporters, y'all so y'all so respectful. Y'all never told me that I had a whole bunch of calculators and laptops in my mouth. Because y'all just love and respect me. So y'all didn't tell me that y'all didn't like the goals or the diamonds. Y'all know the diamonds that I had got done. But I'm real enough to tell y'all I didn't like them. And I know the child didn't neither. Y'all just didn't tell me because y'all realized that I had some VBS in my mouth. And y'all just was proud of the fact that I spent some money on some teeth. That's what was going on. But I didn't like them teeth. The motherfuckers was just too damn thick. It looked like the teeth could twerk. So I ended up finding somebody else on Instagram that was able to do my goals right. They charge way more, but the quality is better. So next time I'm gonna stop being cheap when it come down to stuff, when it come down to me. I'm gonna stop being cheap when it come down to me. One thing about me, I'm gonna spend some money on me. So, I wasn't being cheap. I actually wasn't being cheap. wasn't being cheap. Okay, I wasn't being cheap, because I actually asked for full price, and that's what they priced it as, so. So yeah, but I found somebody else that's gonna do them, and I feel like they're gonna do them better. So, the, the, the process of, them doing my goals, they actually fly you out to Houston so that you can try your goals on, they can make sure everything fit, yada, yada, yada. The last person that I did did my teeth, I think they were middleman in gold, so like, I guess they probably got them flown from China and they didn't, they're, like when you middleman in goals, you're not really, you don't really know much, you don't, let me see, you can't really help much, you can't change much because you're, middle, you're the middleman. You, I can't pull up to no shop and tell him, hey, this not right. I can't pull up to no, I can't do that. We had to hurry up and rush to the shop. We just made it to our hotel, and y'all know it's never a trip without some bullshit. Why we get to our hotel, I already reserved for them to let me check in early, but we get here, they say they don't have no early check-in. It's always some shit, man. Like, can I, I'm showing them the pictures of the room that I booked. I'm like, it's, it does come with the balcony. They tell me that the pictures need to be updated. What the fuck you mean the pictures need to be updated? Regardless, I booked the room with the balcony. So go find a room with the a with the balcony, bro. Hey, y'all gotta do better. Every time I come here, some stuff with y'all, Mary. At. And I'm, I, I've been, I'm a, I'm a gold member. I'm a gold member. So I think I want to take my membership back, y'all. I ain't no bad influence though. I don't want y'all. I don't want to influence all my supporters to stop fooling with Mary at, but Mary at. It's always some with y'all. I had to go to Instagram and write the Marriott and say y'all gonna stop disrespecting Rolling Up K. 
Y'all gonna start having her straight. Matter of fact, they gonna start giving me the goddamn executive suite. As much as, as, much as I book with y'all, I book with y'all every time. Even though y'all be messing up, I still book with y'all again. What that tell you? I got love for y'all. We a family, but y'all keep doing me wrong. I'm gonna stop fucking with y'all. So like I was saying before, life interrupted me. I'm at the airport right now, about to fly back to Houston. I, all I did was go to my hotel room, check in and all that stuff, but I'm finna fly right back to Houston. Well, not back to Houston, I'm finna fly to Houston, pick up the, the teeth that I just got done, and I'm flying right back to Cali. So that's gonna be one flight, then it's, there's three flights in one day, man. Y'all don't, I, I do not see how business people do it when they be having flights and stuff, and they have to go this place and go that place. I just don't see how, people do it like I'm so tired oh I'm just so tired right now y'all I, I do need to get myself some rest like I've been working so hard I've been slacking like on on my business like I have I've been slacking on my videos but I still been working basically so to y'all it's probably seem like like I'm probably like saying I'm, I be working so hard y'all probably like working on what because you ain't been dropping no content I think I just been working on life, literally, like just working on my happiness, working on getting my house together still. I've been in there for like half a year and still don't have everything I have, like have, have everything together. So that's what I've been doing lately. But yeah, I'm finna go, we just doing the compare and contrast test on these goals, you feel me? Like I wanna see which one's gonna look better. I don't think they gonna look so boxy, you feel me? Like I don't want it to look like no box shavers in my mouth no more. I got sick and tired of looking like some white Camaros in my mouth. Look like I had a fucking Camaro in my mouth with them last ones, man. I ain't even lying. Y'all, I'm so tired. I do not feel like going up in this airport doing nothing. I'm musty. I hope don't nobody walk up to me and try to hug me because I'm gonna lift my arms up so fast just to back them the fuck up. I hope that I hope that the must back a bitch so far the fuck back, bitch, because I can't. I can't. I don't want to be bothered, y'all. I'm so tired. It ain't even that I don't want to be bothered, y'all. I'm so tired, like. And motherfuckers will meet you and be feel like you ain't supposed to be tired because you you a public figure. They be like, this the life you signed up for, bitch. If you don't shut the fuck up, ho, I ain't signed up to be tired and for a hoe to come and run in my face and expect me and obligate me to motherfucking do a goddamn TikTok, bitch. Be so ready to bing bam boom and do a goddamn video, like, bitch. Can I? Can I? Can I just let me take this self? Can I just take this self real quick? Cause I'm tired. Especially when I'm in the airport. When if you ever see me in the airport, just know I barely want to be there. I wish I could snap my fingers to be at the location. I'm not happy in this airport. I'm tired. I'm going through some shit. But sometimes my fans will speak to me, and that'll be the only smile they get put on my face when y'all speak to me. So I, I like when y'all speak to me. But but as soon as you speak to me, and then you ask me to do some content, yeah, you lost me. What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, y'all, I made it to the plane. I'm on my flight. So. I think this is gonna be like a three hour flight. When I land, I'm gonna let y'all know that I landed, I'm gonna pick them up, and then it's like when I land, I gotta go pick them up, then get right back on another flight, right back to Kelly to my girl. So I think I'll get back at like nine. My first flight of the day was seven o'clock. So I took a flight at seven, taking another one at one, and then I gotta come back and take another one at six. So it's just like flight after flight. And it may seem like I got time to like do anything between them, but no, the, the space that I have is like I'm on the flight at that time. And then when I land, I gotta go do it. I'm getting it together though, y'all. It's like 15 with service to Los Angeles. As y'all can see, we back on flight number three on day one. Flight number three, I'm gonna, I'll be back when I land. I know I was supposed to be keeping y'all updated on everything, but y'all don't understand how I feel to take three flights in one day and all of the flights are three hours. That mean, basically, I just spent like nine, I really spent like 10 hours on a plane today. Like, to be honest, because two of the flights was like a, um, three hours and 30 minutes. One of the flights was three hours and 12. I really spent like 10 hours, up to 11 hours on the plane today. I'm, I'm righteously exhausted. I can say, do I like the teeth better than my last ones? Yes, I do, because I did observe and I've tried them on for the person left. Do I like the teeth better than my last ones? Yes, they're way thinner, they're not as thick. I can close my mouth with them, literally. I can close my whole entire mouth. It's crazy, right? But I think I've come down to a conclusion that I just literally want to get my teeth did. Like, I pray my supporters respect that shit. Like, I pray y'all respect the fact that I just want to get my teeth done, you feel me? Like, I want to get them professionally done. I want white teeth. Like, I really do just want white teeth. I'm still going to fool. Like, I probably still get, like, some white teeth with a few diamonds in them, like, with the diamond put on, on the tooth and stuff. But, yeah, I'm not saying I'm going to close my gap, but I'm not really, like, I'm not going to be so mad if they say they can't give me a gap with a nice smile. You feel me? Like, because usually when you get your teeth done, you know, they want to get, they want to perfect everything. They don't want to get, you know, gap. They don't do all that. You feel me? But me being me, I wouldn't get my teeth done 
and tell them to just put plates over these because then it's gonna make my, my teeth look even bigger you feel me like i don't want them to make me give me no big ass front teeth it's gonna look like goddamn some macbooks in my mouth and i don't want to look like i got no macbooks in my mouth because a lot of motherfuckers be getting their teeth down and like a, like it's just like they got a whole bunch of fucking roku tvs in their mouth and i don't like it so when i get my teeth done i'm trying to make sure i go to the most professional person i don't give a damn how much i gotta pay i'm gonna go i gotta do this shit the right way but what i need y'all to do is make sure y'all like subscribe and comment because tomorrow we is going crazy i'm lying we ain't going crazy tomorrow i'm back working for y'all i know i've been slacking i'm gonna drop so many full reviews if you wondering like why i haven't been dropping a lot of full reviews that's probably because i've been having them in this form like this like y'all know when they be having a little thing on the side and i haven't been dropping them all on youtube i've been dropping them on facebook so if you really use my videos as therapy and you feel like you need me like i'm not saying that everybody need me but i know a lot of people use my videos as therapy and they really need me so if you do then i say go like my facebook page go like and follow my facebook page roll it up k facebook.com slash roll it up k you'll get more you'll get full reviews more often than when i post on youtube you feel me like because youtube don't catch everything you feel me i don't think i even much posted the chroma cookie review on youtube that's why i just feel like yeah i'm just gonna you feel me? Like, subscribe, and comment. And go follow me on Instagram, too, y'all. I think I'm one of the only uh, one of the only major creators that don't have all their supporters on their Instagram, too. Like, I don't know. Like, y'all be like, damn, I never did follow you. Like, and a lot of times, y'all will screenshot my video and post it on Instagram, and y'all do not be subscribed to the YouTube. Like, somebody did it the other day. They screenshot it. They liked the video, but they were not subscribed to my channel. And I find that backwards. But, I mean, I'm not mad because at least you tuned in and watched the video, so I'm not mad about that. But I can't say it's best if you subscribe because if you subscribe and you like my video, then YouTube push my video even more. Y'all, I'm about to take a nap. Tomorrow, I'm going to show y'all the teeth and everything. And um, we're going to get the day started, find something to review, find something to do, find something to get into. I ain't come down here to have too much fun, y'all. I came down here to eat food and review it. I know y'all probably think, that's fun. No, when you when it come down to it, it is fun. I do like my job, but to a certain extent, your girl need to slow down. To a certain extent, your girl need to slow down. I'm gonna slow down though, man. I'm getting, I'm getting a little thick. Every time I look in the mirror and I see some ass, I get mad. I be like, what the? I know that ain't no ass. So I will see y'all in the morning. All right, y'all. Well, I just woke up and put on some clothes. I gotta get a haircut this morning, everybody. About 11 o'clock. And today, I'm trying to see what we got going on today. I don't know what we got going on today, y'all. We just gonna go along with the flow. I'm gonna go brush my teeth so I can show y'all these the difference between them teeth, like I was supposed to do. I don't know why my camera all blurry and shit. Probably some change the lens on it. Oh, this one. I'm finna go um brush my teeth, go get some food. I got a lot of reviews for y'all coming today, but I really came down here to Kelly to honestly shop, y'all. I don't know what's my problem. I really got a problem with shopping. If y'all got any tips on how to stop shopping so much, please give them to me, y'all, because I got a problem. Like, if I could buy this tree right now, I'd buy that bitch. Yeah, this is a nice tree. I feel like it'll look nice in my living room. One time I seen a baby, it was so cute. I asked the motherfucking mama, could I buy it? And then they tried to arrest me right there on the scene. I told me, but I, I, I didn't know that that ain't how it worked. Hell, she looked like she ain't want the baby. She ain't do the fucking nigga. I mean, ooh. Okay, y'all, the moment of truth. The moment of truth. These are the old goals, okay? Hold on, it's hard to show them. Uh, this the difference. Okay, y'all, right now is the moment of truth. Like, what the man was trying to show me was my gel my diamonds were placed on the outside. Do y'all see why they so thick at the bottom? Like, how they so thick, like a whole extra set of fucking teeth in them? And do y'all see how, like, the diamonds are placed on the outside? Therefore, if I put my, the dime like, if I put these teeth on, I feel the diamonds. Like, I be feeling them rubbing across my gum. Then do y'all see how, like, they are just placed, they're not crushed, they're just, like, placed diamonds. It's hard to explain what I'm saying, but at the end of the day, they too damn thick. It's Y'all see the thickness? They were just too thick. These are the new ones. You feel me? They hit, they even hit harder. They hit harder. The cut is hybrid in the middle. It's hybrid cut in the middle. They're very thin. Y'all see how thin they is? Like, they super thin, so when I put them in, they don't look like no extra set of teeth in my mouth. Okay, these are the old ones. You feel me? Y'all see how the diamonds just placed on there? They way thinner. They just go, they clap right in. I'm gonna show y'all the difference in my mouth. I'm gonna show y'all the difference of how they look when they in my mouth. This how these look in my mouth. Like I'm gonna show y'all straight up, I'm gonna be real. I put them all the way in. These my old goals. And these how my old goals look in my mouth. This how I was talking to y'all too when I put them in, you feel me? Like, 
I got them all the way in my mouth. And it's just, it's just, this how, this, it was just, and it's kind of hard to close my mouth. Like I bite kids with these hoes. You gotta understand goals and diamonds to understand the difference. You feel me? I can simply talk. I can say simple. It's not simple. Simple. I can say simple with my goals in now. Do like a normal face from the side. I ain't got to deal with none of that extra shit. I can actually close my mouth too like this. Like, you see how I can close my mouth and my, my teeth line up? Hold on. And that's no offense to the teeth, you feel me? But I do want to say uh, to the motherfucker that made them, uh, fuck you. I don't owe you nothing with your broke ass. You middleman goes. Okay? So, remember that. You a middleman. You had to catch a play in the middle. You monkey in the milk. Right, we finna go get us some breakfast. Find us something to do today. Hop out in these streets. Probably gonna go shopping a little bit. You feel me? Cause I'm, I plan on spending. Um, just honestly, y'all, I planned on spending like like ten thousand in in LA. So what I was gonna do is I was gonna go spend five k on this little strip that I like. That I like uh, shopping at. They got like ripping dip. They got babe. They got them type of stores. You feel me? And they got a lot of little food spots out there too. And the second thing, the second place I wanted to go shopping at was on Rodeo. Basically, like, a lot of more designer stores, but, like, more, more like, elegant type shit. You feel me? Like, go maybe, like, to Louis Vuitton, see if they got some type of different shoes, a bag or something like that. You feel me? Just, plus, I want to really dress, like, like, like I want to dress real different. I got an outfit for this, uh, for when we go out on Rodeo. And I'm going to really dress, like, like, I belong. You feel me? Like, I really, I, I, another thing we're going to do while we down here, we're going to go look at, like, apartments and shit. Because if we, if we really like the aesthetic, you feel me, we're going to look at us some careers down here. Because I feel like LA is a great opportunity to expand myself. You feel me? Expand my name. Expand my brand. And that's what we about to do. And make, make sure y'all like, subscribe, and comment on this video. I just realized I like Egg Benedict. Like this the only I like. You got a Benedict. <laughs> Welcome to LA. Wax. Y'all, so we outside and uh, we basically on this little strip. I'm not sure what this strip, Fairfax Avenue. We on Fairfax Avenue, cause I like to shop on this avenue, y'all. And I'm gonna show y'all what I get when I come down here. I am not capping when I say sweet chick bus. Wait, this my stuff? Nah, this ain't my stuff right here. Drew, hey, what's up, nephew? Yo, when y'all come in, they don't mean come steal, steal my drill. Then we go. Round the head. Why you on stand? Why you? Cause if you see me do this, then you know I'm recording. Anyways, y'all, I just little puff, got me a little drill. You feel me? So when y'all in LA, I ain't gonna tell y'all what to do. Y'all come to LA with the fuck name, pay me the promo. You never change your hair. I, I never noticed changed. it. You don't like it? It's straight. I need to take it down. It's like the white, the white one throwing me off because why it's white. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, we finna go. What we, what we doing? We on um, Fairfax Avenue with it. So we been doing a little shopping. And I'm gonna let y'all know how much I spend at the end. I shouldn't spend too much, man. I'm trying to save all my money for Rodeo. But I always get attached to somebody here. It's the Balenciaga over here. Balenciaga over here? I mean, she, unless she just walk around with a Balenciaga bag, like, why? Eight plus four, no six plus eight plus three, four by four. 
six eight. Ten nah. I only spent um six hundred one stuff. Six, six, and four. Yeah, I'm no more than 2,000. But bitch, I, I ain't give a fuck about math. I ain't even fuck with Mr. Hefner at all. Shout ass. Mr. Hefner, motherfucker. You remember you used to give me a hard time. I love the fuck out of you now, though, because everything that you were saying, it was so right. Why the fuck was I so defiant and insubordinate? I don't know. I'm so sorry. But I thank you, because if it went for you, I wouldn't be shit. You was trying to put a bitch in the math nerd, but I probably would fuck around up in a nerd. Fucking with your ass. Shit. But we finna go find something to eat, because we hungry. Bitch, we outside, we in LA, we. Okay, y'all, we just pulled up to this restaurant called Louders. Is this a Korean restaurant, I believe? What it do, y'all? It's K, and I'm back with another review. Now, I was looking on TikTok, and I found this little Korean spot. I fought with little Korea town. They be thugging over there, bitch. I swear that shit'll make you move to L.A. and come straight to Korea town. And this place was called Louder, so I said, you know what? Me and this place can relate. I know something. You know what? It'll be quiet. And y'all, I ain't even much trying to be funny. But it was my first time seeing an Asian homeless person. I ain't never in my life. I'm just I'm just being real. I never seen and it. But it was cool. He ain't even asked for no money. They did. No IJs be on your ass by 50 cents, man. Come on. Let me hold a dollar. Bitch, no. Well, nah, for real. Don't expect nothing fancy if you ever go here. It ain't too far from the airport. It's called Louders, bitch. You'll find it on your GPS. Type in the map. I didn't really look at the menu because I already knew what I wanted because I found a place off TikTok. But when I went back to TikTok to see what the man ordered, I said, hold on, bitch. Something ain't Cause right. Because on TikTok, it say his ass ordered some bulldog. Now, if the damn waiter had a came up to me and I had to ask this lady, can I order some damn bulldog with cheese? They probably would have thought I was trying to be funny. It wouldn't even be nothing like that. That's that bull back. Okay, Bulldog, whatever the and fuck. And by the way, y'all, I had got me some new goals because I know y'all didn't want to tell me about the last ones, but y'all could have told me I had some calculators in my mouth. Them motherfuckers look like the first MacBooks was in my mouth. Bitch, the motherfuckers look like some EXO laptops from elementary school in my mouth. But I stayed patient and I waited my turn because I was dead ass wrong for spending my money on them anyway. Like, damn, if you don't like something, Keisha, and don't spend your damn money on it. But y'all can't say nothing or judge me because you got out that bitch chair and you knew you ain't like your hair. Niggas, too. Y'all got out that barber chair and knew your edge up storing up crib. But y'all, who music this was on the TV? I think I'm finna change genre. She was up there, bitch, snapping, and the video was hard as fuck. I said, oh, shit, go on there, little fireworks. She was snapping on that. Who the fuck it did? Y'all, I ain't know what the fuck she was saying, but I feel like it was for me. So it was she was see you doing. I probably didn't say it right, but from the bottom of my heart, I was trying. So don't 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 cancel me because I was I was trying. My nose had been busted open, bitch. When I tell y'all, oh, you can smell some elote corn from a fucking mile away. I put Mexican corn smell like feet, bitch. I damn. I'm talking about taste good as fuck, but smell like her baby feet when it first started funking. You know, like when you bitch when the baby feet start first start getting that funk, bitch. Ooh. Hell no. But this right here is the bulldog with cheese. Which is basically chicken, tater tots, and uh, cheese, bitch. And the cheese get melted real good. I'm talking about so good, you got to back the fuck up. I almost melted me. And I had got the fried octopus and pork belly. Now that, when I tell y'all that was busted. You got to tell them you want to stir it up when they ask you because they going to stir it up for you. And this how I look when they done stirring it up. I'm talking about bitch. Man, y'all, we got to start eating outside our race so they can stop looking at me cock eyed when I come up in that motherfucker. Look at him behind me, trying to look through my soul from the back. Yes, I'm eating your auntie's food. While you're playing, your auntie need to come turn this damn thing on because it went on. I said, hey, my cheese ain't melting right. She came over there and started it back, but in the meantime, y'all, look at the motherfucking pork belly with the goddamn octopus. I know a lot of y'all don't eat pork, and that's good. I'm going to eat it first. My sister came to my house talking about we don't eat pork, we're Muslim. I said, okay, <laughs> give it to me. Hand it the fuck here. Turn it loose. I do it. Octopus was good as fuck. Bitch, make you jump in bikini bottom, grab the fuck out of school. Snatch his ass up. He back behind his face. Can't nobody see your ass? I'm sorry. I gotta be real though, y'all. They was snapping, especially on that chicken, bitch. What the fuck? They got some honey motherfucking chicken with some almond on top, bitch. Man, what the fuck? I ain't never had no chicken like that. I ain't gonna even cap. I was murking that shit, too. It was so crunchy. I said, damn, I think they, they got this shit right here from churches. I know churches when I taste it. They got the same vendor. Shit was just so fucking hot, bitch. I'm talking about I almost fucked me up. I almost triggered a bit. I can't even cap on it. I had to gristle my nipple like that chicken. Bitch, I almost ate the bone. Now, my cheese head finally started melting, so I said, you know what? Let me go on here. Let me go on dig into this shit. Bitch, that cheese looks so good. Look how I pull it apart like segregation. Speaking of segregation, I love all of my white supporters, but y'all got to be real. Would y'all be mad if we had, like, different, like, different shit? I ain't mad at y'all for wanting different water fountains. I don't want to drink with a lot of you bitches neither, just to be honest. Y'all be tonguing y'all dogs down and shit. What the fuck is you doing? I mean, segregation was only bad because y'all was disrespectful about it. If y'all had been nice about separating shit, it wouldn't have been no damn problem. I don't mind separating grocery stores. I seen a white bitch go up in Walmart and put a cucumber in up. Never mind. Y'all, the food was good as fuck. I promise to God that boy act with cheese, good as then fuck. Then it was like some chicken with tater tots under. Y'all, the tater tots made the shit hit with some type of little rice cake. Bitch, I don't understand what I had. I just know that it was good as fuck. I think I honestly want to move to Korea town because I feel like I fit in. My waiter was a stud. I ended up seeing another stud up in there sitting down there with her girlfriend. I said, oh, look at that. I ain't never seen no y'all. I have never seen an Asian stud, y'all. And I'm sorry if they not Asian and I keep calling them Asian, y'all. I be, I, be, I be fucking up. Don't don't cancel me. I'm trying to learn. That's why I'm going to y'all places and stuff and, I, and I'm telling them it's good. So, y'all. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, and comment on my YouTube video. 
or fucking follow on I Facebook. I ain't gonna tell y'all again because I appreciate y'all for going to go follow me on Instagram. It's like y'all trying to help a bitch out with that one. But I don't give a fuck about no mother. Follow me on Facebook. And before I forget, I ain't doing no more fit checks. It's gonna be nothing but pic checks until y'all bitches learn how to like my pictures on Instagram and Facebook. Y'all gonna fuck with me outside of these food reviews. I smash the these niggas fake, they some ass. I'm acting tight when I dance with the Glock like a pal. I step on his ass like some glass. These niggas know I've been doing this shit on Crip. I swear to God it ain't new. Told the bitch after I hit this bitch, you gotta do. One other bitch out of the.